Hey everybody, Graham Bull here for Stable Horse Training and Rehabilitation. Today we're talking groundwork, and in this case, circles. So, we have a horse here that I want to just move off to the left. And uh, as he wasn't going forward with just uh, my hand being extended out in an invitation to move forward, I used my flag uh, to drive him forward. Once the horse is going around in a pretty nice circle, I stopped him simply by pulling the lead rope to the side a little bit. And give him some affection and ask him to move off again with just an arm. And he does. And in this case, he actually took a step back first and then moved off. This is a perfect beginning of a circle. In this next clip, we have a horse that's not quite as used to doing uh, groundwork, but he catches on quite quickly. And as you can see, we're going around in a circle. And uh, as I started to ask him to bring his nose in and his butt out a little bit, uh, he'd swish his tail. Direction changes are a bit confusing, but he gets it. So he moves away and then forward and take off all pressure. Again, this type of training method is called a negative pressure training method uh, in comparison to a positive training method, um, which would um, provide reward for what's being done right. Negative pressure is where we put pressure on a horse to make them do something and then completely remove it when they're doing the right thing. So this horse is going around in just a very casual circle and now I'm going to walk beside him a little bit and he thinks that means stop and square up, which is good, but I actually want him to just move forward a little bit, so I'll drive him forward a bit more. Here's a horse that uh, actually can't manage the flag, but it's the same groundwork. We're still going around in circles. Now I've switched my hands so that I could turn them. Not yet. And there. So he'll step back and around, and we'll just slowly go the other way. So this is where you would use uh, a flag to keep a horse a little bit further away from you in the case that uh, there's a concern of kicking. Now heading back to the original horse, we are going to continue our circles. You can see he has his nose in. He's ever so slightly yielding out because I'm moving forward towards him in the circle. And we're going to make a direction change. And he takes a step away. In this case, he hopped out of the way. And we'll go around in the other direction. So I've switched hands again. I'm going to drive with the flag and direct with the lead rope. He should follow the direction the lead rope is going. Now I'll try to get him to square up. And that's pretty much what circles look like for groundwork. Thanks for watching.